Hi guys, Lexi here today, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make sparkly, gorgeous bows. Um, now this works, um, you need a bow, um, just a regular bow. Um, now this works for, um, old stuff that you have from when you were little. You might have had these cute little bows to stick in your hair. Um, this one for instance. Um, it might be cute, but I really don't think it's that pretty. And I'd rather have a sparkly bow. Um, so what you do is you're going to need a paintbrush. Um, this is just an old paintbrush. Don't use a good one because it might get ruined. Um, you also want some glue. You want liquid glue, not stick glue, and not hot glue. You want regular um, um, all-purpose glue, multi-purpose glue. I'm using Elmer's, and it has to be in a squeezy bottle. If you want to, you can even use tacky glue. Um, and you're also going to need some glitter. Um, I bought um, silver glitter, and I used it um, for painting my room. You just add some of it to the paint and put it on your walls and stuff. And this is what's left over. I still have like half a bottle of this. So I decided to make a glitter bow. So very simple. Just take your glue and um, put this all over your bow. Make sure you're getting all the cracks, creases, dents um, everywhere. If you want to, you can do it part by part, but I like to do it all together. Do the whole bow all together. Um, and you want to do this on top of a sheet of paper. I'm not sure if I said that already. Um, and now you just want to take your brush and just smooth it out to get it in all the places. Um, you could use a Q-tip or something, but I'm going to use a brush. A brush works best. Um, get in all those creases, all those nooks, all those crannies. <laughs> um, make sure you get the edges real good. And this is why you do it on a sheet of paper, because things could get messy. And you want to try to thin out... Um, I will try to thin it out. Now you could do it on both sides or just the front. I'm just going to do it on the front because the back um, really doesn't matter. It might not be showing. So I'm just going to spread it out all over the front. And now, once your glue is all spread out in every little nook and cranny, make sure you get everywhere. Um, once it's spread out real good, um, you can see here, it's spread out real good, and you want a thin layer, not so thick, and in the nooks and crannies you might have some puddles, it's okay, um, just try to smooth those out, you can smooth them out with a q-tip, um, now you just want to take your glitter, I'm just going to take some, put it in the lid, Ooh. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on top in most of the areas and get around the edges. Add another little shower of sprinkles. Blah. Glitter, not sprinkles. These sprinkles, they'd be gone already because I'd eat them before I even started. Okay. And now it's laying in like a pile of glitter. And you're going to want to let it lay there for a few minutes. And um, this is what my bow looks like in the glitter pile. You can barely see it, but it's covered in glitter. And after it dries, I um, just want to pick it up. I'm going to pick it up a little bit before it dries because there's some glue stuck to the bottom. Shake it off a little bit. Um, and I'm going to let it finish drying on um, a separate piece of paper. Um, because there's glue and sparkles all over this one. So I'm just going to let it dry on another sheet of paper. Like I just said, get another piece of paper. And when it's almost dry, peel it off the paper. Um, especially if there's excess glue everywhere. Um, and you want to get another sheet of paper. There we go. Nice clean sheet and transfer it to the clean sheet of paper or you could use waxed paper um, 
if you feel that it might stick, if you have a little bit too much glue that it leaks through, that's fine. And then make sure you run your brush under warm water, um, really clean the bristles, use soap and everything, and your brush should be fine. But just in case, that's why I use an old brush. And now, since you have this whole pile of glitter, what do you do with it? Well, um, you fold your paper lengthwise like a hot dog, like that. Get all the glitter into the center. Um, and don't worry about glue getting into your container. Um, the sparkles and glitter that go by the glue should just stick to the glue, and the glue should not enter your glitter bottle. Um, so yeah. Just do that, dump it in, and that's it. And that's how you get all the excess glitter um, back into your little bottle. And then you can just throw the paper away. Or if you like the design that the glitter and glue made on the paper, you could keep it and frame it or something or hang it up on your wall. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to throw it out. Um, Anyway, so when you're done with all that, you should end up with a cute little bow. And, um, now I have two cute little bows. Now I have this one. And I remember, and, um, if I were you, I would open the clip before you do this so it doesn't get glued shut. And that it's easy to pick up, that you have a little thing to pick up. So, yeah. Glitter bows. Give them a try. And, um, thank you for watching. Um, I know that I don't have the best camera, and I know that I'm just starting off on YouTube, but thank you for watching the video. Sparkly bows. Um, and if you want some more videos like this, or if you're wondering, um, if you want glitter headbands or anything else, um, just comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.